Before proceeding, please make sure to subscribe Dental Maniac and turn on the bell icon for upcoming videos. Please do support my work with your likes, comments, and shares, and you can join me on Facebook and Instagram through the links given in the description box. For images and transcripts, please visit my Patreon page. The inferior alveolar nerve block is one of the most common and most important nerve block techniques in the lower arch. This block is greatly technique sensitive, which means that in order to achieve profound anesthesia of the lower jaw, the anesthetic solution must be injected at an accurate position. And in order to inject it in an accurate position, we must first understand the anatomy and the exact position of the inferior alveolar nerve. So, let's get started. The inferior alveolar nerve is one of the sensory branches of the mandibular nerve. The mandibular nerve itself takes its origin from the trigeminal ganglion along with the maxillary and the ophthalmic branches. The maxillary and ophthalmic branches are purely sensory while the mandibular nerve is the only branch of the trigeminal nerve containing both sensory and motor fibers. The mandibular nerve after it originates from the trigeminal ganglion divides into three parts, the trunk, the anterior division and the posterior division. Nerves that branch off from the trunk are the auricular temporal and the nerve to the medial pterygoid muscle. Branches of the anterior division are the three motor and one sensory branch. The motor branches innervate the muscles of mastication. These branches are the temporal, the masseteric and the nerve to lateral pterygoid. The buccal branch is the only sensory branch of the anterior division which supplies buccal mucosa around molars. Branches of the posterior division are the inferior alveolar nerve, nerve to the mylohyoid muscle and the lingual nerve. The nerve which has got the main role in the innervation of the lower teeth is the inferior alveolar nerve. Other important nerves associated with the soft and hard tissue innervation of the lower jaw are the lingual nerve innervating half of the tongue up to the midline and the buccal nerve innervating the buccal soft tissues of molars and is a branch of the anterior division of the mandibular nerve. Let's now look at the course of the inferior alveolar nerve. After the inferior alveolar nerve branches from the posterior division of the trigeminal nerve, it enters into the lower jaw or the mandible through the mandibular foramen and then the mandibular canal. Within the mandibular canal, the nerve gives off branches to the molar teeth and as soon as the nerve progresses forward, it gives off another branch named the incisive branch. The incisive branch innervates the lower premolars, the canine and the incisors. The inferior alveolar nerve as it moves forward exits the lower jaw through the mantle foramen. The nerve is now named the mantle nerve. The mantle nerve innervates soft tissues of the chin area. The areas that will be anesthetized after giving the patient an inferior alveolar nerve block are the lower teeth from the most posterior molar up to the central incisor of the midline, the anterior two-thirds of the tongue to the midline, and the buccal soft tissues and periosteum anterior to the mental foramen. The reason why our tongue is also anesthetized in the inferior alveolar nerve block is that both the lingual and the inferior alveolar nerve are nerve branches that arises from the posterior division of the mandibular nerve. And the lingual nerve lies at close proximity to the inferior alveolar nerve. The buccal soft tissues adjacent to molars are not anesthetized with the inferior alveolar nerve block and the reason behind is that the buccal nerve is a branch of the anterior division of the mandibular nerve and lies at a considerable distance from the inferior alveolar nerve which unlike the buccal nerve is a branch of the posterior division of the mandibular nerve. The three landmarks for a profound inferior alveolar nerve block that must be recognized are the deepest point of the coronoid notch the pterygomandibular ref and the occlusal plane. The coronoid notch is a small depression that lies at the anterior border of the mandibular ramus. The pterygomandibular ref, as the name suggests, is a tiny ligament originating from the pterygoid hamulus of the sphenoid bone and then inserting at the inner surface of the mandible. To start giving an inferior alveolar nerve block, ask the patient to open wide and position all three landmarks in the oral cavity. Pull the tissues taut, palpate the deepest point of the coronoid notch with your thumb and look for the raft.
Now draw an imaginary line from the mid portion of your thumb up to the raf and divide this line into four halves. The needle is injected at a 3 4 distance away from your thumb up to the most posterior part of the terigo mandibular raf. Usually a small triangular depression can be seen at this injection site. With the help of a 25 gauge long needle placed at the corner of the mouth from the opposite side, penetrate the target area until bone is contacted. The bony part of the mandible contacted initially with the needle is a small bony projection named the lingula, located close to the mandibular foramen. As soon as you contact this lingula, withdraw the needle about 1 mm and then rotate it towards the target side. Holding the needle parallel to the occlusal plane, draw your syringe forward and inject 1.5 to 1.8 ml of local anesthetic. Some tips to remember while giving a patient the inferior alveolar nerve block are followings. Always keep the tissue stored while inserting the syringe. Bony contact initially is a must. In case if you do not make a bony contact initially, there is a high chance of passing deep into the parotid gland and anesthetizing the facial nerve lying within the parotid gland and which then leads to temporary facial nerve paralysis. Inject your local anesthetic solution slowly to avoid burning sensation and pain during injection. If performing an extraction during the initial bony contact, inject a drop of solution to anesthetize the lingual nerve. For buccal anesthesia of molars while extracting a molar tooth, give a buccal nerve block after inferior alveolar nerve block. I hope this video helps. If you think this video was really helpful, please do like the video and share it ahead. Please do subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell icon to get notified on each upcoming video. If you have got any questions or suggestions, you may write them down in the comment box below. Thank you for watching.